It's another uh, Q&A snippet from the uh, over hour long uh, Q&A video I put together. We're going to be talking about uh, weight comparison, foam versus wood. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so yeah, if you've already seen the Q&A, that's fine. Um, I did another one of these snippets uh, about toxic and flammable uh, with some other uh, funny ha-has in there. Uh, this time around, we're, we're doing weight comparison and uh, different funny ha-has from the uh, last Q&A video. Um, that one had a big long table of contents. It looks something like this. Uh, if these things are attractive at all, uh, you should check it out. There's the link. Okay, Pedros and lots of other people want to know the weight comparison between regular plywood of different varying uh, widths from eighth to quarter to half to three eighths um, versus the one inch foam plus all of the wood and all these other pieces, okay? So if we're going to discuss this, we have to come up with some sort of uh, uh, measurement units and some kind of rules around what we're going to do. So we're not going to count the stainless steel top. We're not going to count the, the sink basin that I used because we would just assume that something like that would be on there to start with, right? Second of all, we're going to have to pick a, a unit of measurement, okay? So we're just going to go with one square foot of material. Those are going to have to be different sizes because I'm not going to cut out perfectly good squares and I have some scraps and... Anyway, we're going to do one square foot and we'll do uh, with no coating, with the, just the wood on one side. We'll, we'll try to separate, you know, just the, just the, the laminate material, uh, the screen and the glue and gripper paint. We'll also get some of the, uh, the truck bed liner in there. Maybe throw some uh, uh, diamond plated aluminum weights in there. And then you guys can all decide for yourself. So let's just get in it. Get your calculators, get the scale, let's go. Okay, here's how it works out. Basically, the one inch foam, 3.3 ounces. You can add the bed liner, the screen, or the ply if you want, but the point is, the heaviest one is eighth inch ply plus foam, 11.25 ounces. If you put the diamond plated aluminum on 1 32nd of it, that adds a half ounce, total weight 11.75. But that's way heavier per square foot than my piece is because I don't have diamond plated aluminum on a 32nd of my surfaces and I don't have the eighth inch ply on all of my surfaces. Now, Using plywood only, if you want to build a cabinet out of only 8th inch plywood, yeah, you can get it 47% lighter. I wouldn't suggest it. If you do it out of quarter inch plywood, it's 1.3 times heavier. And if you do it out of half inch plywood, it's 2.57 times heavier. So now you know. There you have it. And feel free to rewind, check my math, use your abacus, send me some comments, tell me I did it wrong. Jeremy, there's no way, all caps, no way, that it's uh, lighter and then three eighths or one half, really, and only half as strong. Uh, I mean, I think the the, the weight the weights speak for themselves. Okay, uh, what, is that half as strong? I don't know. I I can't measure this. Uh, I but what you could do, Jeremy. What you could do is you could build one using the same design as mine if you want or something comparable in size and shape and uh you jump up and down on it and we'll see maybe it is as strong or stronger i don't know give it a shot post the video put a link down here i'll put the link if you make the video i will put the link in the in the description of this video and everybody can see i don't know thank you sith lord it is only 15 pounds and it's very strong i appreciate it your dog is very cute. I assume that's your dog and not your picture of you. Uh, very cute dog. Check it out. I've got three beers plus this beer and they're light enough that I can just, I could do some reps right here. I could just be working out all day long, but I'm not because I'm too tired for that. Tegma wants to know if uh, the adding the, the metal here and the metal kick plates and stuff uh, if adding those metal pieces negates the, the weight of the foam. I don't think so. I mean, it's definitely adding weight to the, to the build, but I really wanted to have a stainless steel um, uh, countertop, um, and I like the look of the, of the kick plate and the functionality of the kick plate. So I think of it more this way. I think of the, the lightness of the foam allowing me to add weight where I really want it and need it, 
um, rather than uh, skipping on the, the metal where I wanted and need it uh, because it's going to be so heavy. Um, but certainly, if I did this uh, without the metal countertop and without the metal kick plate, um, and I did it out of uh, uh, wood, it would still be way heavier than um, it is uh, like this. We talked about that earlier. Next question. The Kingdom of Bad Decisions says that uh, he was convinced that it was going to be strong enough for its use, but he was impressed when I jumped up and down on it. Well, Kingdom, um, I'm a little mouse. I only weigh 153, 158, depending on the season and, and how, how fatty of foods I've been eating. So, um, you know, uh, probably everybody shouldn't jump up and down on a, on, a, on a cabinet. And it was also, as was pointed out in one of the comments, um, it was also on very un, unlevel ground. So I was definitely taking a personal risk as well as a, uh, a, a labor and uh, economic risk by jumping up and down on it. Um, but, uh, you know, it, I, I did it for the people. Aaron says, uh, thinking to myself, right, thinking to myself, jump up on and down on it, and then, and then he did jump up and down on it. Yeah, um, it was fun. I, uh, full disclosure here, I had not stood on that thing prior to shooting it. And the reason that I hadn't stood on it, it goes back to my thing about making mistakes, sharing them with others, and, uh, you know, learning to not make those same mistakes again. Um, I didn't want to test that before doing it because I figured it was going to go one of two ways. Number one, I was going to stand up on it and everything would be fine. I didn't even pre-plan that I was going to jump, but I, I figured I was going to stand on it and everything would be fine. It felt good. I did one of these numbers on it a couple of times and I was like, Psh, I think it's good. Or the other way that it could have gone is that the whole thing was going to collapse and I was going to crash and like hit my forehead on the camera or something. And so I didn't want to, I didn't want to miss that moment. So I was just like, I'm just going to shoot it and it's going to be the real, the real time. And I'm so sorry to you, Aaron and everyone else in the, that watched the video that it didn't end badly, that it didn't like collapse. And I like did a header into the camera whoa, whoa, because that would have been gold. It would have been hilarious. And I would have been like back to the drawing board on making these strong enough to stand on. But all's well that ends well. Next, Jeremy Smith here wins the award for most observant viewer that commented because he recognized that the sliding door on my Volkswagen van is on the other side than it usually is. And that's because this is a British van. It's a right-hand drive, left-hand shift. You all have been watching this video for this entire time, and you've seen the steering wheel in the back. You saw me get into it, uh, but you didn't think about the fact, maybe, or did you? Comment below, let me know. Don't lie. But yeah, it's a right-hand right van. John Smith says, you resemble something that I swept out from underneath my couch. All right. Um, you know, fair enough, John. It's true. Uh, I usually have like some, do I have it right now? Like some frizzy, some frizzy hair going on. That's true. I got a lot of, a lot of facial hair that I don't keep very suavely trimmed. So, fair enough. I am a scruffy looking fellow. Um, and also, look, I, I'm not doing hair and makeup before, before I come out here to do these uh, construction van build videos. Um, and I won't be doing that for any of the, the Homestead ones either. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a, a sharp dressed uh, guy uh, as your YouTube video host, uh, you should look elsewhere. It's not going to be me. My fingernails are going to be, are going to be dirty most of the time. Um, uh, but also, um, John, it sounds like you should maybe clean under your couch some more than you, than, than you, than you are. Cause if something as large and as furry as me is dwelling under your, under your couch, that's, that's, not good. It's not good. It's not good. What's next? I hope we're almost done. Wait, John, John, I just noticed you're, 
your avatar is a wiener dog in a bun. That's hilarious. More dogs as avatars. Next. Alex wants to know if I've got Instagram. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't do the grams. I don't do the Facebooks or the grams or the tweets or the, the, any of those other ones. Only the YouTubes. I'm only on the YouTubes. Uh, and it's probably going to stay that way. Uh, Zarity a little bit more, uh, social media e than, uh, I'm used to, or that I have, uh, an appetite for, frankly. But thanks for asking. But this, this is a good one to end on. We should, we should wrap it up right here and just say that, you know, um, I'm not here, I'm not here for the thumbs ups. Uh, or the the subscribes or anything. Uh, the reason I did the first video and the reason I'm doing all of these is because I like sharing my experience and my uh, uh, my ideas with other people. And you can like them, you can hate them, uh, uh, or neither. That's fine with me. Um, so don't feel like you anyone's ever going to hurt my feelings uh, by saying I look like something that got swept out from underneath their couch or. Uh, you know, telling me that my, my trim looks janky, um, or giving me a thumbs down or not subscribing to the video. That's fine. It's no worries, no sweat off of my, off of my back. I have had enough, enough Q and A videos and not enough beers, uh, through this process. It's very hard to talk and answer questions, uh, while, uh, while drinking beer. So, um, you guys enjoy your, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of mine, uh, just sitting here, uh, in the sun, in my van, just chilling. Here's the next time. See you guys. What? Hey, goats. Yeah. Hey, if you haven't seen the other videos, you might check out some of these things that uh, I, I put together previously or since this video. Um, I hope you enjoy them.